wow. Mm, mm, mm. Delicious. Mm. Oh, look what we made today. Look at these guys. These are big, beautiful, soft pretzels. Oh my goodness. They are easy, 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 easy. Pretty much one ingredient, especially if you don't want to put the salt on there, which is optional. Oh my goodness. Welcome back to Cooking at Helms Place. If you are new to the channel, take a second and subscribe to the channel. Turn on that notification bell so you won't miss anything. Now, let's dive right into how to get these made. As I mentioned before, this is a real quick and easy recipe. So the first thing we're going to do is make an egg wash so that we can set it aside. We're just going to take one egg, whoopsie, and beat it with a little heavy cream. You don't want too much cream or water, whatever you choose to use, because the more you use, the lighter the shine and the lighter the uh, golden brownness will be. So you just want to make sure that this is well incorporated with the cream. Now what makes this easy is we're going to just use some canned biscuits. You can make your dough from scratch, but you're going to need that rise time and you're just going to have to wait. So this is a can of eight. Let's go ahead and get this open here. Now you want to take one of these at a time. just one biscuit, and you wanna take it and roll it in your hands first. Now we're gonna roll this out into a pretty long log, so kind of pull it as you go and keep rolling it and make sure it gets as long as possible. You're pulling it as you're rolling it. I'm pulling out as I'm rolling it so that you can get a long log. We're gonna need a long log for this. Decided to use two biscuits so that I can get it the size that I wanted it to be. So I'm just going to roll this midge section together here, pinch it and push it together so that it can stay right here in the middle and become one. Okay, so from here, you can take your dough and make it into like a horseshoe. And then take it and you wanna pull it a little bit, pull it, cross it over like that, cross it again, and then bring these two ends down into the middle. You wanna press them down into the middle, just like that. So that then you'll have a pretzel that looks like that. Go ahead, I have a tray over here lined with parchment paper and we're going to set it right on that tray. Okay, I'm going to get the other ones formed and we'll be back. Okay, so this is what we look like. And now we're gonna head over to the stove. This is what they look like. Okay. Now you want a large pot, bring it up to a rolling boil just like this. This is plain baking soda, two to three, two to three tablespoons. Put that in your water and then bring it, lower your heat until you have a small simmering boil. So we'll give it a few minutes or a couple of seconds rather to settle down a little bit and then we'll get started. Okay, you want it to still boil, but a low boil like that. So we're just gonna put a couple in at a time and you want to put them in for just about 20 seconds. Just about 20 seconds. After 20 seconds, you wanna take it out and put it back 
on the parchment paper. Drain some of that water off. Okay, so as you all can see, two of them almost, this one almost lost its shape and this one did lose its shape, but that's okay. The taste will still be there. They lost their shape because I did not bring my pot back up to temp before I put them in. I completely forgot. So that's okay. Now we're going to brush them with our egg wash. This is going to give them that nice gold and brown color that we want on there. Okay, and for me, what is a pretzel without flaky salt? So I am using this flaky sea salt. It is absolutely optional. If you can't have salt, that's fine. But I'm gonna sprinkle it on. Let me put a little bit in my hand. You see how chunky that is? If you're going to use a salt, you want to use a flaky salt. This is actually a pretzel salt that they use on their sea salt, and it's a natural flake, but it does not melt like regular uh, salt does. And if you ever bought a big soft pretzel and it has those big flakes of salt on it, this is the type of salt that is used to create that. Once we get this salt on here, we are going to bake this at uh, 375 degrees for about 20 minutes until they're golden brown. Everyone's oven is a little different, so keep an eye on them after the 15 minute mark. You might need to go a little bit longer into the oven. Ooh, they are out of the oven and they look amazing. Look at that, guys. Oh my goodness. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, look at this, look at this. Ooh, it's nice and hot, soft pretzels. Oh my goodness. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today here in my kitchen. I really do appreciate each and every one of you all. Take a second and subscribe to the channel. Turn on that notification bell so you won't miss anything. Okay, we're gonna get ready and dive in. Break me off a piece. Let me see, so y'all can see this up close. Ooh, look at that, guys. Look at that. Oh my goodness. Mm, mm, mm. Break this on off. Ooh, it's so soft. It smells amazingly delicious. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Wow. Now, you know, you can alter these a little bit by adding some cheese in it when you roll it up. You can put some garlic on it, garlic spread on it. You can make these however you want to make these. They are very, very versatile and quick. I love a nice good pretzel on a Saturday morning. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Delicious. Mm. And for me, that little flaky salt that's on top is absolutely amazing. Oh my goodness. Mm. And one more thing. Although we didn't use it today, if you don't have my all purpose seasoning, check it out. Shop cooking at palesplace.com. And I will see you all next time. The good Lord willing and the creep don't rise. Bye-bye.